Okay, in this video uh, I'm going to show you the integration with Axiom and Griffi and uh, you'll see on my screen that I've not got Axiom on for a change, <laughs> I've got Griffi. Uh, really useful tool, uh, brilliant at categorizing um, pictures and videos uh, and very uh, user friendly, you know, you can see on the screen here the uh, categories and you know the, the user categorization was very easy you would click on your picture and then you'd press like one two three four on your keyboard or the number pad or you could select how many as you want um, press the number to the category it related to so that for example uh, if that one was a uh, category a uh, I would press one and it would go into category one uh, so before I go into that, uh, just a few basics. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, a full Griffi demo. Uh, obviously, uh, Griffi have some um, good uh, guides and videos on their own website. So uh, if you need more in-depth um, knowledge or um, training on them, you, you know, you can go on the website and you know, get some good resources on their website. But uh, Generally speaking, if I just go to File and then uh, Settings here, um, the main two are Databases and Categories. So this is where you'd be able to make your categories and uh, there's other settings here. If I go back, and Databases, again this is what I mentioned in a uh, previous video about when you can import a JSON database into Axiom so commonly um, you know national or, or Vic or K databases would be added in here but you can then export that database out into uh, various other formats for you to use in other programs so again Griffi lets you uh, be a, a versatile with, with the databases uh, and I just made these uh, as an example like uh, I've added in the NSRL database here now in theory I shouldn't need that because I've got the NSRL added in Axiom as well but for example if you didn't process NSRL in Axiom you can pick it up here and then uh, I've just got a few others that I was uh, um, messing around with and experimenting with so once you've got your databases um, created and set up, uh, this is a case that I made earlier. Now, uh, before I go on to that, I'm just going to pop back over to Axiom. And uh, this is also a case that I prepared earlier. Now, you'll notice here that um, I have imported the uh, JSON files which were these and as a result of that I've got these categories here and then I'm only interested in the uncategorized one so hence uh, why that filter is on so these pictures here are uh, uncategorized now um, I'm not going to go into it but I did apply some further filters and removed some further items which I added into not relevant so I'll just show you now these are the ones that I tagged as uh, not relevant so I filtered them out by removing them and then just going untagged so I have now got two filters applied I've got my own categorized and untagged items so as a result of that these are the pictures now that I want to export and review and grade in Griffi so what I do is I click file create report export it's going to be a JSON format and it's only the items in the current view you can do it that way or you can right click and again you can do it that way as long as you export it into JSON that's fine uh, make sure it's JSON with attachments because 
because Griffi needs the actual files as well in order to build the case. So I exported the JSON and it made this uh, folder here. So it made a JSON file and then it made an attachments folder here where the pictures of interest, i.e. these, now reside. So then you go to Griffi and then you can make a new case. So I'll just start doing it and then you go through the series of uh, making your case uh, and as a result of that there's some further settings that you go through uh, along with how you want to process it, what databases do you want uh, to be applied so if you had another database here that you didn't add in Axiom but it, it's here you can uh, add that and then after you've processed this is the case and you'll see that I've got 172 uncategorized here which should match what I've got here because that's what I exported and created as the JSON so once you've done that you can now start grading so if I click on that, click one, you know, two, three, uh, and Griffi's got some really uh, good filters as well. So um, you can use Axiom to uh, do your filters, or you can uh, export everything into Griffi. And here are your filters here. Again, really useful filters: file type, file size, or you can use a combination of the both. Um, so. You can use your filters in Griffi to uh, grade even further. So once you've done your gradings, I'll just open up a case that I uh, graded. It's the same case, I've just graded it. So as you can see, uh, I did have 172 uncategorized, but as a result of my gradings, I've gone through and graded them, and this is now what I'm left with. And you can see uh, what's going to be important in a bit is this number here. So this is that category number that relates in Axiom here. So that's the category for, as a result of the uh, JSON file. So once you've done your gradings, you then go on to report export and you've got two options here you've got data and files or just data well we don't need to export the files because they're already in Axiom so it's just a case of exporting the uh, JSON file so I'm going to do it for all files because I want all the categories to be remembered in Axiom and it, again it'll tell you what categories you want to export by default it will tick the ones that have a value because there's no point exporting a category where there's no value there and then once you've done that this exports a JSON file here which I uh, exported here and then once you've done that if you go back to uh, Axiom let's clear my filters and you'll notice that uh, on process there's a project vic cade file so load that up and it will open up uh, process but um, a lot of the sections are removed it will just add in uh, or enable the uh, categorized pictures section within process so what you would do then is go to categorized pictures add json file and then you can see here that, that file I've added in here and you can see previously that there was only categories 1, 2, 3 and 8 but now there's a further uh, category 9 because I made uh, uh, some files category 9 and it will also add in um, or combine the, the other categories as well so if we go back to here so I added that in enable it and process it and then you'll it'll go back to examine 
and now you can see here that the new category is in along with the uh, other items that have been graded in Griffi. So there's 206 there. If I go back here and just apply the categories that I had at the start, see, so at the start of the case, I only had 20 um, pictures that were categorized. I then exported 172, regraded them. and then added them in here. And then obviously that you can then make your report then from how you wish. So if you want to just report on uh, like category one pictures, you can filter them out and see which ones are which. Likewise, you, know, you can do a combination of them. Obviously you wouldn't report on category 8 because that's ignorable if it was in your country but you, you tend to just concentrate on the illegal ones or like category 9 was case specific. So these are a few here. So that is how you would use Axiom and Griffi integration to do your categorization and then grading of um, material and then bring it back in to Axiom for reporting.